Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a Happy Meal video. And before I start, it's gonna be a long, long one. So give yourself a snack, a new drink, sit back, relax, get a ride with craft, whatever you're gonna be doing or do or watching videos. Because there is a lot to go through and I am so incredibly grateful. I just wanna say that right off the bat to Rosemary and Ellen. I am so, so incredibly thankful for you. Um, and I'm so incredibly thankful for the other stuff that you sent. It is just, <clears throat> me and my mom this week have been truly blessed with some gifts, and I am, I think I always say this when your stuff comes, I'm speechless, and it's true because I, I'm looking at everything, and it's just like, wow. You know, I'm gonna be doing this in film in two parts. I'm filming part one tonight, which is supplies. And then I'm filming part two tomorrow, which is coloring books, and yeah, I'm just, I'm blown away by everything, and I just can't wait to sit down and play with everything. <laughs> so, before I enter, I just will say this, um, if you see any product that you are interested in me doing a video on, let me know in the comments below, because I will be trying to go very briefly through things. Um, when it comes to comic book flip throughs, I'm not going to flip through every single indiv individual book because this video will probably be like four or five hours long if I like, flip through every individual book. So I'll, I'll show some pictures when I get to the comic books tomorrow night filming. Um, but if you want to see a full flip through of them, just let me know on my channel. Or if you want to see any supplies in use on my channel, let me know and I will do videos on them. So yeah, I. Honestly, don't worry, I have the supplies now in boxes. The boxes are sent. Um, I have a marker box and a pencil box. So, let's go through the pencils first, I think, because I have swatched out some of them. So, we get in position here. Hold on one second. Okay, so I am, as you tell me, doing position. This is my bed. I'm using that as a backdrop because there's more room to set the stuff around and been talking about it. Um, so I had to get a blanket because my house is covered with floors and if I sat here for a while with hardwood floors, my my knees would be screaming. So let's go ahead with the pencils first and I'll do the markers. So these are the first ones I show you actually shown um in the weekly vlog because I was really blown away by them and that's the well let's really far out there we go. <laughs> is the Bill Toy Colors. These has uh, 12 soft color pencils. And these are really, really good. Um, I do have swatches of them. But you have the colors there. And these are what they look like. But the swatches here were so vibrant. And they, when they were going down the paper, and there's obviously this notebook paper, but they felt like prismas. And look at the the blend of yellow, orange, and red. So I'm excited to test these out. I'm actually gonna do this and the next ones that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try to do a tiny tin challenge, I guess you would say, with them. Where I just use all of them on one page. And the next ones are an uni palette, which I think is just the Mishibishi pencils, the Mishibishi uni, I think maybe is that what they called? They're called. I'm not sure. These are another one I was blown away by. So this is what they look like right here, and the pencil themselves. Right down there. They were kind of um, the thickness is like that of a um, polychromos, basically what it feels like, but with the lightness of a prisma. Once again, these ones were very creamy as well. So there's the colors. And they have two metallics. Well, I was actually blown away by this, so I was going to show up on camera. Is the white. You can actually kind of see it. And normally, <clears throat> when you swatch a white pencil, it doesn't show up on camera, and this time it did. So I am really, really, really excited to test these out. I don't think I've actually, I think, 
I don't know if these are the same ones. I think, um, the Sharon, Sharon Sanctuary had these. And I think, was it T? I forget your name now. I think it starts with a T, it has a T in the name. It had these in this little box, like, pulls out stamps on something. I don't know. The names sound familiar for that. But they're very creamy, very pigmented, so I cannot wait to test out. This is actually my next um, product to use, actually, with them. So I will show how that works when I'm done. Next, we have um, the, I'm going to butcher this name, the Erogitin, or Rogitin, um packs, which is Packs of uh, volume one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. And I did swatch these ones out as well. And these pencils, they come in like this little separate thing here. And it folds up like that. So I did squash these out. This is volume one, volume two, which is pale, vivid, and this one here is deep tones. And I just have the thing here just clipped into the Banded here from the thing and this sliding service there. Then this is four, five, six. You have pale tones of seasons here, or maybe tones like Easter. You have deep tones too, pale tones too, and then light grayish tones and sorry if it seems like a little weird angle I'm trying to figure out how to hold stuff that I'm showing because like I said I'm filming on my bed because if everything here would be too my bed my desk would be filled up too fast. Then this one uh, is seven eight and nine which is fluorescence, very pale and dull tones. So you have the fluorescence, very pale, which those are very, very, very pale. <laughs> and dull tones. So these ones did go down really nice. They went down, they felt more like a, <clears throat> like an Arteza, where they're hardly red, but they're soft. So I'm really interested to see how they, the, they work kind of together, I guess you'd say. <clears throat> and like how like the different, um, the different, like how, they blend from like volume 8 to like volume 4 or stuff like that, see how they blend. So I'm interested to try those out. Next we have Faber-Castell Faber watercolor pencils. This is the 36 set. And it has the, comes with the paintbrush here. So I'm excited to test these out because I do have the Terry Castell Classics and they're really, really nice and really have a good pigment. So I'm interested to test these out, especially because you have, I think, a few more skin tones here than the Classics. I'm not sure. I can't remember that they're in the um, <coughs> setup there. I have the Classics in a pencil case, so I'll have to pull them out and kind of compare the two together. Over here, and then we have the Stapler or Statler 
Akira, 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 Akira. Or you can hear me butchering. This is a set of 60 uh, watercolor pencils. So they're here, kind of, they look like this right here. And they do have a number. They're way, way, way at the end. So I decided, I decided I'm going to use these for a, a color along. I can call a number out, which is always very, very nice. So you have that one, and then this one here. They have really nice um, browns in set, so I'm going to swatch these out and give them a go. I can't wait, I want to see how this one swatches out. It is very, very, like, neon. I know the, like, the fluorescent neon colors in the Ortiz of one color set kind of became more of like a like a wash of color and like a really pigmented color. So I'm gonna just see how that goes. <clears throat> and the next pencils here, let me just say, well for the next four I'm about to pull out, I was blown away by and kind of left staring in the box. These ones particularly because I love these pencils. You know me, I talked to how many I am about them, but I love them. And now my mom has a set, I have a set. And that is the favorite Castile Polychromos. So I was gonna give this set to my mom because these ones, you know, are a little bit you know, newer, I guess you say, like more pencil left over than the ones I had. But my mom went to the I had because she knows I love them and I use them. I would say more, but my mom is very... When it comes to supplies, she's very nervous about accepting supplies. Because my mom is very heavy... Um, excuse me, heavy, very heavy-handed. <clears throat> and she... Straight colors. So she gets nervous about taking or getting, you know, higher-end products. So she has my old set, and I'm gonna keep this set here. And I cannot wait to just dive back into coloring again with these. Because you know, these are amazing pencils. And I love how they are, you know, how they, the pigment of them and how they color. So yes, I. I seen this in the box, and I kind of had to, like, it was one of the ones that you had to kind of, like, pinch yourself, make sure you weren't dreaming, because I did just wake up and go to the grocery store and come back, so I was tired. So yeah, I just, like, I like, had this pie. So my mom now has a set of polychromos, and I can't wait to see what she does with them. Because my mom, even though she says she's a straight color, she dropped this color down, she's starting to venture into blending and shading because she is fond of Kirby Rosanis. And since Kirby does nearly you know, outlines, she's starting to get into blending and shading. So I can't wait to do, uh, see what she does with the polychromos. Now this next set was actually on my list to purchase. And I was actually gonna purchase these probably more towards Christmas because I've seen so many people call with these and the brand I've heard nothing but good things about, so I cannot wait. These are gonna be my, I'm gonna swatch them out, and these are gonna be my next, um, <clears throat> besides the, uh, the uh, Mishibishi Unis, these are gonna be my next ones that I actually sit down and use. And that is <clears throat> the Derwent Colorsoft 72s. So yes, I have been eyeing these up and I've seen so many people do um, some amazing pictures with them. So the only thing I've done so far is I've put them in order, like um, the order, like the color order. So I have my like uh, light skin tones going to my browns, you know, for my skin tones, yellows, oranges, and pinks. So that's the only thing I've done. Next I'm going to um, swatch them out. And then I'm gonna find a book that I've been sent to and work with them because I I was just watching um Zucchini Kitty, I think she's her newest one that she's doing, I think is with these pencils. And the page is just coming out amazing. So 
So I'm gonna go back and call it the same page as her. Or we'll find a different one, but I am so excited to try these out. And I know they're like one I'm really excited for. I have actually don't have heard of these ones in Couch Day. And that is the studio set of 72. And I don't think I've heard of these ones. I've seen people using these ones. It looks like the same they're the same colors as the the car softs. The only difference is these ones are hexagonal instead of round. So I can't wait, I don't know, like I don't know the difference of, like is this going to be more like a, like a prisma of them? Or is that like more of the, like I don't know the, the range of Derwent, I don't know like, like I know there's different ones like the Derwent Ink Tents, the Color Softs, the Watercolor, but I don't know like all of them. So I'm going to be interested to test <coughs> these ones out compared to the color sauce because a lot of them had the same color names. But I've heard nothing but good things about the Derwent, you know, product brand. So I'll be interested to try both those out and kind of see side to side. And then finally, not gonna blow me away. I I'm going to be going through these tomorrow and getting the ones I need them and I'm going to keep the rest. And that is the Prisma Color Premier 150 set. I see these at the bottom of the bottom box. I just kind of like, what, what, what? Because I don't have the polys and these is like, wow. So I'm going to go through, pick the, my mom wants me to go through because she knows I need um, some colors. So I'm going to go through and pick the colors that I need. And then the rest will go to my mom. Because, like, to put it into perspective, I was still with my mom. This is a brand new light peach. Mine is down to here right now. So my mom's like, okay, yeah, you need to go through because my mom knows I do make people a lot more. You know, with like, I do like the, the portraits and pair of people. So, like, skin tone, I need different ones. So I'm going to go through these tonight, tomorrow, probably tomorrow, because I'm going to be done filming and get ready for bed. But yeah, can't wait to share these with my mom, because my mom does love Prisma as well. She's like, you just want to pet it? You just want to pet the supplies? Because <laughs> that is it for pencils, so I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the box, and then we'll start with the markers. Okay, so that was the pencils. Now let's get into the big box of markers and other supplies. So before I put this small of the non marky supplies, I have a bag of washi tape here, which I am excited for, you know, I've been saying I want to get more to do my borders. So we have, like, a, a blue granite. We have a um, koi fish. Silver Christmas ornaments. Oh, like a purple granite. A green granite, almost looking one. Musical notes. A metallic green. Christmas, um, for different things going all around it. We have a sparkly, <coughs> excuse me. It's like a, it's like a, Silvery, um, like sageish color to me. It looks goldish, but looks kind of like it has a green tint. We have like a deep, kind of plum, almost black granite. It has a nice, kind of like zigzaggy pattern. It has snowmen, Christmas trees. We have yellow. A yellow granite one, um, like a sea foam green one. We have a silver Christmas ornament or gold, like the silver one, and slightly bigger. A kind of um, yellowish green silver, and little little bows. 
so I cannot wait to be using these because hand-on pages are perfect for these washi tapes and Deborah Moros are perfect for washi tapes. So I cannot wait to be using on my books. And then of course, a bag of happiness, aka stickles. So we have Twinkle, two diamonds, which this is like the one you go through the most, Sunset, Steel, Cosmic, this one is gorgeous, Mermaid Tail, we have Holly, Sunburst, which this one is re almost like holographic, with the yellow and the green. We have Cayman, um, Shorebell, Cool Mint, and Grapefruit. So definitely more stickles to the stickler up of pages because you know me i love my stickles i don't think i use them enough and now i have more reason to stickle things up <laughs> and this next one i seen this box in one of the packages that came today i was so excited because i don't have this product anymore and it fits this month's theme, and I was so excited for it, so I can use them in a color along this month, which is the Crayola Super Tips. So since it is Crayola month, I can now do the pencils, the crayons, and the markers. So I think everyone knows there are the Crayola Super Tips. So I am so excited have these because these were almost something I bought as well to go with this month. So now I can do crayons, super tips, and pencil in a crayon month. Which I'm very, very really excited about. Next we have this little pencil case here of a whole bunch of different fine liners. So you have a whole bunch of different ones. These are Le Pen, Le Pen. The Pen, they're very, very tiny things. And then there's these ones, which are Horizon Recollections. Extra fine. So you can never go wrong with having a whole bunch of Fine liners on hand. I have actually been using these more in my writing to help like map things out. So these are gonna go right on my desk. So that way when I'm writing, I can kind of like write something down and different color code it so that way I kind of know better. So yeah, like I said, those are gonna go towards my writing because I have been using them to kind of you know map things out, you know, with um, I was waiting with like certain pathways for that going in books. So those would definitely be going on my desk. Next thing I was excited for is actually the first thing I see when I opened the very first box I had a lot of breath from doing everything today and moving these boxes. <laughs> is the um, AM art. 100 set of glitter gel pens for the glitter gel pens. So you have beautiful glitters. In here just says Aeon. So I can't wait to test these out because I have been running low on some colors. So I'm not going to pull them all out because I'd be a lot of work to get back through everything. But look at what you can see. Some of the colors. 
our throat. So yeah, I've been wearing out certain colors of gel pens. So it's gonna be very nice to, um, so I'm trying to make sure I was recording. <laughs> but it's gonna be really nice to have um, some extra gel pens in hand. So this supply here you've seen if you watch my weekly vlog, because I did show it. And these are the Windsor and Newton markers. So these have the uh, watercolor markers in here, which are a bullet tip and a brush tip. And I love these. I've done a picture of the with these, which you'll see later on in the video. <clears throat> so you'll see it later on. But these work amazing, and they do have numbers as well as names on all of them so i can use these in color alongs so it's the watercolor brush marker and then there are a few pro markers in here so i use them i love them you'll see them in the page i finish later on So this next one here I am very interested in to trying. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of them and that's the Distress Marker set. I think it's the same company that do the Distressed Inks. Oops. So it has dye ink, acid-free, non-toxic. Store horizontally and it has a name there as well so I can do color on very easily. And you have a brush tip. And you have a fine tip. And there are a whole bunch in here that I cannot wait to go through and use. I did test a few out. This is actually like. Wait a minute. This. It's a white marker. Wait a minute. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, but if you know me, I've been going on and on and on for a while. Do you need to make white markers? Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a, a blend. It is white though. You kind of can go over the lines. Kind of. So it's more like a blender, I guess. So I've been saying, oh, there you go, it's dry. You can see it more now, it's dry. But I was saying they need to make a white marker. The detail, and this set has a white, white, a white marker. So I cannot wait to test these out. I've used a few of them slashed pieces of paper, but I haven't fully given a shot. So I will be excited to use these. Oh, that was a really nice for last time to get it back on. See, I can't, these ones I, I can't really test out. Next, we have some Zig Art and Graphic Twin. You have a number as well. So you get a brush tip on this side. And this is kind of like the, um, the, um, The brush tip on the Arteza, the real brush pens, this is where they feel like they're a little more sturdy. And then you get the fine liner end. So I can't use another one, I can't really test out because I've heard really good things about Zig. I haven't seen many people use these, so I can't wait to test 
test them out. We have some really nice colors in here. And we do have some um, color books here, very thick marker paper. So these would be nice to test them out and try me blend me a little bit with them. Next we have these are King Number Shea. Shea brush pens. These are like the Artezas with the brush that's like a full on soft pen, uh, brush. And these do have numbers on the end, so once you have a color on I can um, shout them out. So I can't test these out, I'm hoping these are better than the Artezas ones. Because the Artezas ones. If I'm being fully honest, now, based on the reviews I've done of like first impressions, I don't like them. So these here, I can't really test them out, hopefully like them better, because my main problem with the Arteza ones is the brush is too loose, which these seem like a smaller brush compared to the Arteza. So it looks like it might be a little easier to handle so we have to test these as well blending because when you try to blend like say these three colors here so this is my blend let's go over this or this or this right with your teaser i can put the first layer down perfectly fine the marker is still acting up when i do the second one the third one start messing up by the time i get back it seemed like the pigment was getting like sucked out of the pen. So I'm interested to see how these ones would blend. Because I'm not the only one who had that problem with Ortiz. I started looking it up. A lot of people were having that problem. So I don't know what was going on, but I'm excited to try them out and see if, you know, um, they work really good. So guess we testing those out soon. Next, we have this pouch here, which has some alcohol markers in here. These are the Milo art marker. You have a chisel and a bullet tip. So I was using these earlier on a page, and I'll show that they are as well. And they work really good. And of course, there's Anne's favorite color. <laughs> so as I seen them, like, oh, they had, it's a good set, they had the pure brown. <laughs> but I was using these earlier, they worked really, really good. So I can't, I've already tested out a few, but one thing I was really kind of blown away by is they have a gold and... A silver. I've never really seen that before in sets. Like it's literally full on metallic. I mean, it's a full on metallic marker. So it's kind of blown away by that because I don't think I've ever seen that. We made the alcohol marker set. <coughs> and I was just saying on the red vlog how I need to um, get more markers for skin tones. And I don't need to get more markers because I have a lot more skin tones. And you'll see what comes up next. This is the final supply here. And that is... Touch 5 markers. A whole boatload of them. So I am set with skin tones. I am set with a lot of colors. Oops. Okay, so that when the marker caps came off, aside from the heat and the moving, and the van, the nail van. So this is one bag. That has to go back in the bag now. 
Those are, we have a, the uh, fine tip here, the bigger bullet tips, and you have your chisel. So I have officially enough markers, especially enough markers that I can start tackling my Snow White poster again. So yeah, that is very, very exciting because I was getting very nervous about um, my poster because it was going to the point where I was running out of of markers, so I'm trying to like scoop them up the top at the same time. But I was running out of markers, and I didn't want to do one of Fabian's posters, and my Fabian's posters running out of markers because I want to, you know, have that as, you know, it's an artwork piece on your wall. So now with all these, I don't think I have to worry about markers running out because there's plenty of markers to go around. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, very excited. I wonder if I'm going to see a test. Yep, she does. The black marker in the Touch 5. It smells like um, cherry cardinals. Like you know the um, where maraschino cherries, how they smell. That's what it smells like. So they're still using the same formula, which is good. Don't smell your markers, kids. Don't be like me. Don't smell your alcohol markers. When something smells like cherries, I have to smell. I'm weird that way. Okay, it's gonna be good. I don't want to break the paper. So that is it for my coloring surprise that was sent to me. I'm gonna go ahead and end my night tonight. This is Saturday night. Tomorrow night I'm gonna be doing the coloring books, which are a lot. So that's gonna be tomorrow. You're gonna see very brief flip throughs of them. And that is it. So, I will see you guys in a few seconds for you and tomorrow night for me. So, I will go ahead and end my night here, put my supplies back, and then tomorrow, film my color books, which will be spiced rather for you. So, enjoy the color books. Okay, hey everyone, welcome to the coloring book portion of the Happy Meal video. So, I filmed this a day after what I was going to do because you watched the last video on my channel. You know there was a surprise addition to the household um, yesterday. So right now she's sleeping on the bed, wondering why I am talking to myself. But she needs to get used to. And if she can't hang around, you know, and this is what I do. Because she doesn't seem as phased by his cock. You know, she kind of just like falling asleep, but she likes new talk, so. Um, yeah, she's a little jujube is sleeping over there. So, coloring books. The coloring book portion of the video. Like I said before, in the um, coloring supplies, if you want to see any of the books in full detail, the full flip through, please let me know in the comments below. Just because of the simple fact that I will not be able to do full flip throughs and simply just because there's too many books here and if I was doing that I, edited, I already edited the um supply the color and supply point another like 38 minutes so <clears throat> if I did full spectrums of everything we'd be probably looking at about two and a half hours. So first three books I'm gonna show you <clears throat> are from Rosemary and then the rest just like the supplies that you've seen were from Ellen. 
So I am so grateful to both the people who sent out the mail. It has been a, an extremely just, <clears throat> extremely like emotional, heartfelt week. And yeah, I'm just, I've been covering up the storm. You'll see in one of the first books that are on top because I've been coloring in nothing but that since yesterday. <coughs> so, let's get started. My first three books from Rosemary. The first one here is 100 Best Group, you can't see. 100 Best Gray Scale by Alina Lazariva. And I have been working on one here, and I've actually been working um, on one here with pencil. Because I, because the gray scale here is very, it's very, like, um, there's no really big outline to it. So I figured, I figured it would be easier, <coughs> excuse me, I figured it would be easier to do with pencil. So I've been, I worked on this one. And so far I've been using the Schiffer Farbens, or the Schiffer Farbens. And I need to come back to it, I really like it, so. It is actually really nice to use them on this paper. Um, it works really good too with the grayscale. Next one is Elegant Faces on um, Grayscale Underpainting by um, Aikuka. Aikuka? And I just did the first one, which is her. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. I'm going to do this one next, I think. And then the next one here, <coughs> excuse me, allergies are acting up case. I did not take my allergy medicine last night because my allergy medicine makes me sleepy. And with a new scared kitten and a cat in the house, especially when she was in my room, <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was fully alert just in case she decided to destroy everything, which good news is she's a very calm cat. The last book from Rosemary was Fairies 2 Grayscale by um, Christine Karen. <coughs> and I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, a page in here next month for Shana and I's um, color along, which I'm still working on. Figuring out a title, it's very hard to figure out a title right now, or a hashtag. But it's um, next month will be like a summer uh, theme. And I want to do this lady. Perfect for that theme next month. So that is it for the books from Rosemary. From this point on, it is from Ellen. So there are actually more books on the show from her, but her um, my mom has them, and I wasn't going to, you know, go out and excuse me, go out and gather them. Um, so yeah, these are the books from her, and I have been just like petting and blown, I like just blown away, and just like petting and looking at all the supplies and uh, flipping through them all. <clears throat> but the one I have been, excuse me, I'm gonna drink. Have my Sprite on handy today because I had a um, dry throat from the allergies today. But the book that I have been, like, I have fallen in love with, which I was so surprised by actually, because I know it's gonna be another one you're gonna see very soon. Um, but I have fallen love with this book. I can't stop coloring it. That is Botanicum by Maria Trode. I love this book. <coughs> I decided, I have decided I'm going to work this book pretty much from the front to the back. So I have done the, um, butterfly here. I've done the dragon. And I did the book belongs to page. And right now I am working on the first page here. So the first this one and these small little images here. I did this with the twenty four set of the Mitsubishi pencils and they are so good, they're like super, super pigmented, as you can say, I have the dragon there. 
And then with this picture, I'm using the Direct Studios, which are these ones, the Direct Studios. And they are really, really good. <clears throat> I have been loving them, especially on this paper. So I need to come back to this one tonight. That is Britannicum. Let's do a little random flip through. I need to get back to that page. Now, this next book I did have by Switch because the mom asked. I gave this book to my mom, but the paper in here is um, kind of smoother, and my mom likes to have more textured paper, so she asked if I have, she didn't have my copy, and she, I get this copy, and I figured, um, that Anne, <coughs> excuse me, the Anne who sent me, or that other book, Anne from Carver Life, um, wouldn't mind, you know, if I switched and gave it to my mom. So, um, I have now this fine copy of Flora. Which means I get to do more pictures. I get to do my pages over again. That's um... Hold on, sorry. Yeah. I heard people when I'm walking down the street. I want to make sure it was going to go on. But did you see who woke up because I was talking? No, Gigi Beast. No, no, no. She still likes to try swiping. Nose. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice, kitty. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice, kitty. That'd be nice, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. see, she's a nice kitty. She has a little bit of a mean streak yet, but <clears throat> that could be just because she came from in from outside. So she likes to swipe and bite sometimes, at random. Yeah, so I get to redo some images here in Flora. And I'm excited because I actually really have fallen in love with very smooth paper that is in this, like in this book, in Botanicum, or like in um, the um, Clara Markova papers, the paper in that book. Hold on one second. Okay, so I had to. Um, make sure that she's okay. Um, um, one of her legs has a um, boo boo on there, and looks like she left a little stain in the blanket. But it wasn't that, so she said, um, I think from the litter, litter box. So I was like, oh, thank God, because I didn't want to she let her open up the tongue or something like that. So we're keeping an eye on that. So the next book here. Which I was excited about when I see this, I see this, and I grabbed it. Tell me, Mom, this is mine. I'm vetoing it. It's mine. I want it. And that was the Coloring Heaven Christmas special because I love Coloring Heaven magazines. And this is made of um, Alina Raza Riva, um, Charles Santor, uh, Mika Jelena, and so many more. But I really love the Mika Jelenas. <coughs> They're in here, even though there's only two. I really, really like this one. So, definitely next month, um, Christmas in July, I have some good books. Like, okay. <coughs> now, this one here, I <coughs> had to take a moment. When I seen it in the box, I had to take a moment because I. <clears throat> was very speechless. My heart kind of skipped a beat for a second seeing it. And I still, I'm, I, I hug and pet, I pet this book. Because you know how much I love this artist. And I cannot find this book. And it's not even publishing, I didn't publish anymore. Savion Atanasio, Beauty and the Beast. I see this in the box like, oh my god. It is gorgeous. Like, look at this page. <laughs> look at this page back here. A half and half. 
Oh, it's really amazing when it's done. Hi. Okay, this is just stunning. I was surprised that there was no gas can in here. It's mostly just um, bear and beast. But there's no gas can. See, so yeah, I am very, very excited about this book. Next one we have, I'm going to butcher the name, is Pastor Kova Leto by Lenka Fili. Filano, no, Lenka Filoneko, to that artist, and I apologize. <laughs> but this is an actually gorgeous book. You have like a line art version of pictures in here, as well as like, um, like a soft grayscale version. And I did start working on one kind of markers in here. I need to come back and finish that one up. Now this one, I am going to have to do these ones and frame these ones because this is gorgeous. And there is Linda Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw's Fairies and Fantasy Art. Um, these are Zodiac pictures. So this is mine, which is Aquarius. So I had to frame that one for either me or my dad. Because my dad is also Aquarius. He was born on board one day afterwards. You have Pisces, Cancer, you have one for each of the signs basically. But it's gorgeous, and the gray seal here is a super, super dark. So I'm interested to see how it comes out when it's done. So I don't think I've seen many super dark gray scale pages finished. Now this one here is another one by um, the artist Lenka, so I'm just going to say Lenka, and that is Kapka Stetsi. And this one, I think I've seen this one on Grace's channel once before, but it's gorgeous to get some postcards or cards in here. But it is like super like springtime, summery. Kind of like one well, like happy, peaceful like well, um, love scenes I guess you say, in it. I don't know if that's the theme of the book. That's what I get from the pictures. But the paper in here is like super super thick. So this would be a good one for markers and then these um soft shading on top. <coughs> Now these next two, I am so excited for, because I have actually seen, <coughs> excuse me, finishes for these both, in both of these versions, and I'm excited to have them, and that is the Sakum, is it Sakum's? Um, Fantasy Characters Cover 2017, and then the Natural Enchantment Cover 2018. And this book here is on very smooth marker paper. And it is really, really stunning. I have started one. Playing with my markers. Start her. I was playing with the Milo markers that were sent to me. So I had to come back in and finish that one up. And this one. The Natural Enchantment book is on watercolor paper, so the, um, excuse me, brain fuck, the, um, watercolor pencils I got, I'm going to be putting to the test. This one I really, really like. It's probably my favorite one from this book. Hi. So I can't wait to find one here and do one now. Can I come up? Yeah, you want to come up? What's this is even? She doesn't like that I left the bed. <laughs> and the first one here, the next one, the first, next one, 
is when I've played the first night. And that is um, Comic Book for Adults, Beautiful Million Dollars. And I did finish one from here. And this is with the Windsor Newton markers I um, was sent. This one here, I love all the pictures in here, so definitely be working from this one. Just seeing some more finishes. <clears throat> Next one here is Flower Haiku by Ellen Marks. So it's basically a making your a nice floral page, but it's like a you know, haiku for every letter of the alphabet. And you get, I think, corresponding flowers. No, so it's just beautiful. But then what I'm doing here is this one. And this one I have set aside to do. And the next one here I'm excited for because it's only I need to do, I think, six, page, uh, six pages to catch up. Which I might just start working on the next one for next month. And that is the Kelly O'Gorman. 2020 calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and just find something here I'll show you. I don't want to spoil it just in case I'll show you. Here's June. And show you the past months. The one I really love right here is May. This one I might color and actually just frame. Okay, that's it for the Spiral Browns. Now we're into the regular Brown books. Next one we have here is Gnomes in the Neighborhood by Blinda's Denise Collette, which is a gorgeous book. It's a gorgeous yet odd book because it has the way the little gnomes are drawn. They remind me of Big Ange. If you ever seen um, Big Ange from Mob Wives, kind of, the female ones are kind of um, drawn and built like Big Ange was in um, in her life. Okay, next one here. I'm really excited to actually have a. Second, this is my second copy. My mom had one already, so I kept a duplicate. And it's War of the Flowers by Johanna Basford, because you know I love my Johanna Basford. Um, and the hoarder of Johanna um, duplicates, and I have, what is it? Four or five copies of Magical Jungle, because it's my favorite one of hers. And this is my close second, or I guess it's a tied for first, second favorite. So I cannot wait to start working in here again. Yeah. This next one, you can. I don't even know what the name is. You got to get in a Japanese or Korean coloring book. I did start working on one here to play with on the Derwent Color Softs to test out a skin tone. I don't know the title of it. I think this one just tells a kind of story of two lovebirds, I guess you'd say, from like beginning to end, because it shows in the back, like, um, them with kids and stuff. But it is a really nice, cute book and a very good paper. This next one, I actually switched with my mom because this one has a like really super thick paper which means you can do a little bit more to it so my mom took out my ver my copy of it and that's Imagine Morphia by Kirby Rosanna so I gave my mom my copy and then I also in the box was Color Morphia so my mom now has all Kirby books so I think everyone knows the, the Imagine Morphia but this one here the paper is so much thicker then when my copy was, my copy had the same kind of paper as, um, as the Animorphia. So I'm excited to have a thicker paper because of the fact that I can do more acrylic washes and I have way of paper ripping. 
Next one is the time going by Dahlia songs. I now think I have all of the Dahlia song books. I have the other two. So the other two were in the box. Those since my mom has the other two. So I now have all of the Dahlia songs, I believe. Next is the Flower Fairies. And this one is by Frederick Lane, or Warren. And it's very cute. Um, one here and it has the name of the page on the back side. So this one here, next one would be observing from uh, uh, under, yeah, observing from upon a toadstool, which is this one here. So it's cute fairy pictures. They are single size, so you can use your alcohol markers, which is nice. And it's on kind of <coughs> creamier paper. Next one, or next two, are by the same artist, which is Mary Marada, which is Beautiful Birds and Tree Top Tree Tree Top Treasures and Brilliant Brilliant Beasts. Speaking, um, this is the favorite illustration from all the books, and these ones here are so cute but really intimidating because like they're made of all the like, leaves and stuff like that. But these patterns I'm finding lately are like super relaxing to do, so I can't wait to pick one out and start one from one of the books. So this is the brand beast which has um. They say which ones? No. Selection from her first five: Animal Kingdom, Tropical Wonderland, Wild Savannah, Curious Creatures, and the Birds and Treetop Treasures. <clears throat> See, I really like that one. These ones look nice, um, framed. So nice relaxing pages. For some reason I am finding like busy time which is really relaxing. <clears throat> Next one is the world of W. May Combert Come Home to Color, which just is like just scenes <clears throat> from her books. So nice interior design pictures. There aren't no people in it or nothing. Just nice scenic pages. Next is Mythographic Animals. This is by the Joseph Katim 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 Bang. This is a kind of Kirby style, which is more single sided. And the next one, the last one for this pile, is a Christmas Carol, and this is by, obviously Charles Dickens, but who is the artist? Kate Ware Vladimir Alexki? Alexki? So this just tells the story of a Christmas carol. I really like this one in the back. And then with Tiny Tim. Okay, so I pause and get the next stack. Okay, I'm out of breath. Those are some heavy, heavy, heavy books. So the first book of this stack is The Moonlight Veil, a mythic coloring and art book by Annie Stag Gerard. So 
definitely a gorgeous, gorgeous one. I like how it has colored by down the bottom. It has a name for each of them. I like the moon dragon there. Okay, next one. The Boos by Lacey Sunshine Boo by Heather Valentin. You know I love the Heather, Heather Valentin. It's really like the simpler, cutesy pictures. Don't have to really think to put any effort into it. Really just sit down with some pencils, a marker, and you go to town. Okay, now the next book's here. I now have a huge collection of this artist, which I'm excited for. So I only had one of his books before. And that is Bennett Klein, and some of these have his daughter. I think it's his name. He's May. Yeah, May Klein. So this one, the first one here is Characters. Steam. Unearthed. Mythic. Wild. This is the one with Maycline as well. Wild 2. Darker. Which just has all black backgrounds. And then the last one, which is Color My Sketchbook 5 by Bennett and Maycline. I like this one. I think I remember correctly way back in the day, um, D. Willingham did this picture. I don't know if she did it on camera if she showed that she did it. Okay, the next one is Serene Little Village. This is a Julia Rivers book. It is a busy, busy page, a busy book. Super busy patterns and pages, not patterns, but super busy pages. I love this one here. This one you want to start on one little tiny area and just work your way around. Next is Magical Fairy Village, not um, Chewy River. Next one here I'm excited for because I think this now completes my collection for this artist, which is Dual Invasion by Kirby Rosanis. I think this is the only one I miss was missing from Kirby. I love this one here. Next is Spooktacular Halloween Coloring Book. This is a Julia River as well. Should I put it with one? I did not. It's a nice Halloween one. We have Christmas Darlings by Kelly Horton. Next we have Myth and Magic by Kanuko Wycraft, this will be the artist. Okay. 
super super detailed ones. I'm like that over there. It's probably the first one I do. Next we have Whimsical Gardens by Alexandria Cow with N Creative Haven. We have two Devil Molos, the rest of my mom got because she was really excited about them. Little Witches. That was pretty good too, I don't know, what's that? The title page, the color page. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> Naughty or Nice Pinups. This next book I find so adorable, my mom did not like it. <laughs> my mom looked at it like, looked at the first two pages like, okay, it's your book. I, I, um, you can, you can veto it. It's yours. I'm on the viewing. <laughs> There's a really adorable animals to cycle off life by Alex Soler uh, Soleris. I find this book so cutely messed up. I love it. It's a really cycle of life. You have animals eating animals. But it's so cute at the same time because look at the eyes. Because the animal's face is like, look, I'm getting eaten. It's so cute. And this next one, I was actually really sad and shocked by because I was actually. The day before um, that Ellen mes messaged me about selling stuff, I had this book in my cart and I decided against getting it. Something told me to wait and I'm glad that I did because I have it now. That's Kawaii Witches Autumn and Halloween um, Adult Coloring Pages by Just, um, just Too Kawaii. And I love I'm going to do this one here first. Hold a little, little baby kitten. This is so cute. This is one of the books where I was like hemming and hawing <coughs> about getting it. And now I have it. It's like I'm coloring it. You know I'm coloring that one good. So the next two are by Tanya Bogman Stalova. It's nice little town five and eight. These are nice little mouse privileges. I think everyone on College you knows these books here. And this one here is a little more steampunk. A little more steampunk and a little more glaze here. Next one is Magic Beauty, Animals, Birds, Flowers, Mandalas, and Beautiful Fairies by Nadia Vasco, uh, Vascova. So there's a nice kind of relaxing page. You have people, you have animals, you have jewelry pages. This is basically a book that you would put, like say you're gonna go off for a weekend. You put it in your, uh, your travel bag with some markers and pencils. You're set. Next one is Ladies of Leisure 3 by John, or, or <coughs> by, by Van, uh, Z, no, Zan Von Zed. And I have to start the first page in here, just play around more markers. I have so far. And we are coming down to the end. 
So these next two are Grayscale comic book storybooks. So the first one, my mom tasked me to finish it, so she had his gift eventually, which is The Night Before Christmas. This is by the Charles um, Santor, which you've seen his pictures in the Calling Heaven. But it's just a toy, and it's a for Christmas story. And it's nice paper, so I have to use pencil as well so that you want to read the story. But my mom has tasked me in finishing it because she wants this as a gift, not by this Christmas, but she said by next Christmas she would like this as a gift. And then the Wizard of Oz. This one here, I almost want to leave it as is, because look at the pictures. They look so good just as is. And this one, you do get the story in the front. And that's also by the Charles Santor. The next three books are from uh, Demita, Demita Victoria. You have Beautiful Women. These ones I've seen a lot of. Demita, uh, Demita, Demita Victoria, colored by um, Grace of uh, Grace's color or Grace's World, and she always has beautiful in those books. You have Beautiful. Or Fantastic Beauties 2, which just has a lot of the um, women of deeper skin tone in it, and I'm excited. There's one in here. I want to start first and find this after this one, I think. Yeah, her. As soon as I see this one, like, she is absolutely gorgeous. I need to color that one. Yeah, this one is definitely leading some love soon. And then you have Fantastic Beauties, which would be book one. And I think we're now down to the last five books. This one here is Fancy Dolls Volume 2 by Jenna Prosvirina. She has nice, cute, light gray scale fairies. Next one is. Mythical Autumn Grayscale Coloring Book by Molly Harrison. This is another one with very dark grayscale. <clears throat> Next is Disney Dreams Grayscale Coloring Book by Catherine Bradford. Final two books of this Happy Mail video, and they're a huge books. Make sure that I'm zoomed all the way out. <clears throat> that is the second one only, and the third one and only Mandala Grace. Oh, me and Mandala Grace got Mandala Cone Book. This is by Phoenix Yard Books. That's all it says, but it is a huge book. Of man dollars. Like literally some of the biggest books I've seen. <clears throat> 
So that is it. Make sure that that is it for Happy Meal this week. I want to say, say again, once again, thank you. I've already, you know, said thank you to both people so much. And I think they know how much I am so thankful for it. My mom is so thankful for it. But I want to say once again, before closing the video out, thank you again so much to do with us and have mail. It is greatly appreciated. It's going to get so much use. I have been calling up a storm in Botanicum. And I can't wait to branch out to some of these other books because if it only focuses on Botanicum, there's so much I'll be I have a lot of uncolored books you could code. Um, also, that bookshelf I was talking about picking up next month, Jack will probably be picking up again this month instead. <laughs> so that is it for today. I hope you have an amazing day. Like I said, if you want to see any flip throughs, you want to see any demos or thoughts on coloring supplies, let me know in the comments below and I will work my hardest on getting that up. It might take a little time, just because of the new cat. Um, it seems like she is adjusting well. She's only sleeping now. Um, so it only be hard more when it comes to introducing her to Katya. But that probably won't be for a week or two. Just because we want her to calm down. I'm going to go to the vet. And we want to... Get her over her spiky anger phases that she has. Because she gets a little angry sometimes, you know. Mostly just because it's her second day in the house, you know. But she's getting better. She has chose me as her human. She will not leave my side for nothing. But she's a adorable cat that likes to... She is a cat that sleeps in bed with you. Kati is not. Juju B is. <laughs> So that is it for today. Hope you all have an amazing day and we will edit this together and get it uploaded and find some of the snack on. So that is it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.